So we've been, uh, Partners in Health has been doing a lot of work uh, with COVID-19, um, certainly getting our sites prepared. As you know, we're not a tech company. We provide healthcare and support and community health workers. So everyone has been um, lifting together to get all this ready in the 10 countries we work. Um, and also we're doing work in the state of Commonwealth of Massachusetts in the US. So what's already completed is that we've added um, CL, COVID-19 and related diagnoses. We've also added to our PIH EMR um, lab orders and results for four um, SARS COV-19 um, tests. Um, Dave and our clinical staff have been working and, and have completed uh, drafting three paper forms um, for admission, discharge, and progress for the patient. These would be used at facilities. And I believe today they're also rolling out comp care for contact tracing of COVID-19 in Haiti. Um, in terms of what's been deployed, we already have the diagnoses and the lab orders rolled out at our largest hospital in Haiti at Mirbelay. Um, what's next? To deploy at other health centers, um, those diagnoses and hopefully also labs, um, because our platform is, is used in currently in Mexico, Sierra Leone and Liberia, it would be pretty simple to add that. Um, and then we've been talking as of yesterday about how, if there's a need to implement electronic forms the, to mimic those paper forms. So it was great to see Ian's. Um, I'm sure I can use part of what he's done and maybe we can also at Partners in Health build some sections that might be useful for him too. Um, and then since we're talking about tech, I also should bring up that Partners in Health is working with the state, Commonwealth of Massachusetts and uh, the Public Health Department and also um, Accenture to build uh, contact tracing for 1,000 um, uh, uh, case you know, case finders in Massachusetts who are going to be doing contact tracing. And this is not open MRS at all. Uh, just to give you a quick idea, these are the 16 diagnoses that we've added specifically for COVID. And then um, this is what the lab um, order looks like. And uh, just to give you an idea, those are the four tests that could be possible and we're following what uh, lab devices are available for each country to try to um, add the devices and the tests as quickly as possible. Um, in terms of how we would use those diagnoses, it's pretty simple that we would just use them wherever we have the ability to capture a diagnosis, including consult note. And that's it. Dave, did you have something to add? No, that, that's good. Um, I don't know if people are interested in seeing what the paper forms look like, but I can quickly show them if, if we think that that's interesting to people. Sure, I, if you can send the paper around to everybody. Sure, I, I can just quickly show my screen and then afterwards I can drop in a link to um, to where we have the forms, but uh, let me share my screen. Uh, I thought you were gonna mail it out. I'm gonna put in, whoops, I'm gonna put in the chat session, the link to the presentation I just did, if anybody sure. is interested. Can you guys see my screen? Yep. Okay, so, um, this is what our paper admission note looks like. You can see, so it's, it's actually two pages. It's a fairly extensive note. 
Um, but you know, the basics are um, similar to to the form that Ian has has put together. Um, it's a basic soap note. Uh, some demographic information, patient history, uh, vitals, uh, comorbidities, physical exam, uh, some admission information. And then the second page is mostly about testing. Um, these, this is the COVID testing that's happened and any other testing. And then medications that, that are being given um, at admission and any other supportive care and any other notes. So that's the, the admission note. Um, This is the daily progress note. Uh, which is just, just this one page. Um, it's got some of the same sections, patient history, vitals, physical exam, testing since the last note, um, any medications uh, that are given on that day and what the diagnoses are and just space for some notes. And um, I don't know if you guys can see this, might be a little bit small, but um, like the patient history, for instance, since it's a daily note, um, instead of just, just choosing what the symptoms are, we're allowing the doctors to specify whether th that condition is improved and changed or, or worsened. Okay, and lastly, we have a discharge note. which again has some of the same, same sections. Um, the different sections are, you know, medications being given to the patient upon discharge, a little bit about their stay in the hospital, were they in the ICU, how long, and um, what was given during the stay. And then um, how were they discharged? What conditions were they discharged in and any other plans or, or comments? And, and we don't know for sure if we're gonna build these forms into open MRS just as is, we're, we're still working with the sites to figure out exactly what the workflow is, but this is what, what we've suggested as the paper forms. And um, you know, the next step is to do the, um, the business analysis to figure out what exactly needs to be built. So that's where we are now. There are, there are two questions that came in, if we still have a minute. Uh, the first one from Terry which is, is OpenMRS integrated with CompCare and contact tracing? And the answer to that is no, we haven't done that. Um, however, we're currently uh, in the end, uh, end steps of integrating CompCare with um, prenatal, postnatal, and uh, newborn visits in the community. And that seems to be going quite well. Um, and I'm not sure exactly of the schedule. That's also in Haiti that we're um, planning to roll that out, but it'll be fairly soon. Um, and then the second question from Stephen is, um, yeah, OpenMRS is not directly connected to lab devices. So when I showed the um, lab ordering and I didn't show the entering of the lab results, it's all done manually. What we really would like to have is a comprehensive system where we're fully integrated with uh, lab information system, but we were not there. Um, and then from Babakar, um, he wanted to know if we had used the reference application, and this is all built on the reference application. Thank you. 